So you got a question for Josh? Raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. Josh, first things first, how are you feeling for this season? Big, big year last year for you, and I'm sure you're excited and eager to build off of that. Uh, super excited going into the season. Uh, of course, have the all those emotions as anybody would going into the season. Excited, uh, anxious, nervous, or whatever. But I'm just uh, trying to stay even kill, taking it day by day. And this year, LSU has a lot of running backs in that running back room. What have you seen from them, and what has it been like to work alongside guys like? That? It's uh, it's been great to work uh, in a deep running back room because not only does uh, each teammate push you each and every rep, but it's no drop off whenever one player goes out and one person comes in. There's no drop off, and it's just constant uh, energy from the running back room. Coming into this season, does, does your mindset kind of change a little bit knowing that you are one of the, the, the lead guys, one of the best? Uh, yes, sir. Um, knowing that people do look up to me and understanding that I am a leader on this team and being a SWAT leader and all those things. I uh, do know that I can't take plays off and I have to go above and beyond to uphold Coach Kelly's process because it starts with the leaders first. Uh, it could be a whole story or a movie or a book, honestly. Uh, coming in as a walk-on, not knowing where I would end up and not even knowing if I would ever be able to play here. And then ended up being on uh, four years, five years later, graduating, still getting my grad degree. It's just been a great journey. Uh, I couldn't ask or wish for anything else. Saturday, Caleb Jackson was kind of the talk of the town. What did you see from him? Caleb did great during the scrimmage. Uh, he ran like a grown man out there. He's just a freshman, you know. He has a great body, great skill, and amazing speed. And he's been very eager during camp, coming in early, staying late, and it's just paying off. season, you had some injuries. What did those moments teach you about yourself as an athlete on and off the field? It taught me that any play, any given play, that your season could be over or you will, or you can never play sports again in any given play. So it just taught me to cherish the moments that you have and not take reps for granted. You know, I've been, uh, I was out the whole spring and I essentially got to watch all the running backs just take rep after rep after rep. And just being in that situation, it gives you a different perspective on the sport and you enjoy it more when you finally get to come back. So. And entering this year with the younger guys, in the room, how are you being a mentor to them and helping them with that some experience in their brains? I'm just trying to be more of a vocal leader this year. I mean, last year I kind of stepped into more of a like lead by example role. And this year I've been trying to talk more and just kind of let them uh, let them ask me questions or whatever they want. Just trying to be more of a team player, honestly. Uh, JR and Will, they're, they're really important to the program. Uh, they're involved with the players. Uh, we all know them. They're at practice every day. and They're hard workers, man. They're in the building when we get here, and they're, and they're, they're here after practice. So we see them at dinner. We see them at lunches. So it's, they're a part of the team, and we really appreciate that, their hard work. The one thing I would say to players that are uh, are in a situation where they don't really know, I would say that it's not about other people's situation. This is about yours. You only have your journey, and if you try to compare your journey to somebody else's, that's when it starts to be uh, negativity. I would say that if you just focus on yourself and try to stay consistent as possible and try to get better each and every day, you. You can't get worse. So you have to get better. So, yeah. The growth of Jane Daniels, what have you seen from him? We were here last year mm-hmm. and now going into this final year. Uh, just uh, Jaden being a guy from the West Coast, being so laid back and chill and just coming in, just kind of trying to get, get in uh, comfortable with the team. And then just a year later, just seeing how much has changed and how much he's talking and just how much more of a vocal leader he is. I feel that he's more comfortable with the playbook and the offense. And, just more comfortable with the, uh, the organization and just everybody in the, in the facility. So I think you're just more of a family now, and I think it's a more uh, tight-knit group. 
he said a few weeks ago that he feels like he's from Louisiana now. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not from Louisiana. I'm from Houston, Texas, but I've basically lived here for the past four or five years. So, I mean, I live here too. So, I mean, this is like my home, away from home. So I, I understand exactly where he's coming from. We'll got two more guys. What have you seen from Aaron Anderson? Dude is a is a playmaker. He has a uh, elite speed and elite route running ability. He can catch punts. Uh, he can literally play anywhere essentially. So I'm excited to see what he can do in space and just continue to keep working hard. Last one for Josh. How would you describe this year's LSU offense to a fan in comparison to what it was last year? Well, I would say that offenses change each and every year because, of course, the team's different, but. I would say that compared to last year, I would say that our uh, our slogan this year is to get gritty, to have a uh, to have grit or whatever on each and every play. We want to be grateful, resilient, intense, and uh, thankful for everything that we do on the field. And that's something that Coach Denbrock has implemented to us. And I think that's something that we're focusing on going into this season compared to last season as an offense. Thanks, Josh.